tell you this morning, we have to stand, we have to speak up for the freedom of religion. Did you know, did you know, I'm going to give you this, we're going to pray in just a moment, but listen to this. How many of you ever heard of a man named John Leland? Have you ever heard of John Leland? John Leland was a Baptist preacher. A Baptist preacher. John Leland lived during the days of the Revolution and when the Constitution, the founding of the country. John Leland believed with all his heart that we ought to have freedom of worship in this country. Did you know that in the colonial days, did you know that nine out of the 13 colonies had established state religions? In other words, if you could be fined or penalized for not going to church in the way that those colonies said that you must. That was happening here in America before the Constitution was put into place. John Leland fought against that. John Leland was very influential. John Leland had a great following. People loved John Leland and they loved to hear him preach. And when he mounted the pulpit and people come to worship on a Sunday, you know they heard many messages oftentimes on the freedom that God has given to us and what we must do as a newborn nation and so forth. Well, as men were discussing and the colonies were working and the Constitution was in the beginnings and in the makings, James Madison was trying to get Virginia on board, trying. To, if they did not have Virginia, you could forget about the Constitution, Virginia being the largest and most influential colony in the land in those days. James Madison believed that churches and religious liberty were already taken care of sufficiently in the Constitution as they had begun to draft it. John Leland said, no way, buddy. We need, we need some real protection for the, for the worship of God. John Leland wanted an amendment. He wanted something added that protected the churches. Madison did not want to go into all the busy work and all the needless work of trying to get something else passed as difficult as it was to get the Constitution passed through all the colonies. So John Leland decided, well, if they're not going to change it, then I'm going to change it. And he began to run against Madison as a representative, as a delegate for the state of Virginia, for the Commonwealth of Virginia. Well, James Madison knew that if Leland run against him, that the Constitution would never see the light of day because of the following Leland had. Virginia would never go along with Madison. So Madison came to see Leland to see if they could work out something. And this is what they worked out. John Leland agreed that he would not run as a delegate. He would withdraw from the race. James Madison could have it if James Madison would promise that they would put some protection for churches and let it be recognized by the United States government. And so James Madison did what he said he would do, and this is what was given. Listen carefully. I'm sure you've heard it before. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. In other words, your First Amendment was a result of Baptist influence. Did you know that? As people said, no we believe God gave us the right to worship. We're not going to let the government have a finger on our right to worship. And what I'm trying to say to you, if we don't speak up, we're going to lose the very freedoms we love and hold dear. Freedom of religion, freedom, the recognition of the sexes, our regard for Israel, the unborn, hard work and responsibility. Those things are going to be lost unless God's people speaks up for America.